Alright, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Mac OS 10.12 Sierra on an unsupported Mac. Now keep in mind at this point um, it mostly fully functions except for uh, Wi-Fi on some systems. So uh, while this work will work on any unsupported Mac that's at least early 2008 and newer, um, it will not work uh, with the Wi-Fi module in some machines. But uh, just keep note of that. Um, but in this video, I'm just going to show you uh, how to uh, install Sierra on an unsupported Mac. So uh, right here, I've got a mid-2009 uh, MacBook 5.2. Um, this is not a supported Mac, and it is the machine I will be uh, demonstrating Mac OS Sierra running on and installing on. So um, there's a couple things you're going to need before you get started. Um, the first thing you're going to need is a USB drive that's at least 8 gigabytes in size. Um, and then on the software end, you're going to need a copy of the install uh, Mac OS 10.12 developer preview app. Uh, you can see I have it right here. Uh, it is 5.01 gigs, and yours will have to be uh, the same version as this uh, for this method to work. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, close that now. And the next thing you're going to need is this application that I've actually written uh, called Mac OS Sierra Patcher. So you can go ahead and open that. Or actually, don't open it yet. Um, the first thing you're going to need to do is um, plug in uh, a USB drive that's at least 8 gigabytes in size. Um, so I just inserted one there. Go ahead and close that. Um, and then the first thing you're going to need to do is head on into Disk Utility. Now keep in mind, uh, you can use this piece of software on any machine. It can be your unsupported Mac or um, another Mac. Uh, in this video, I'm using my Mac Pro running Mavericks to create the drive. However, as I said before, it will work uh, on any machine, including your unsupported Mac when running El Capitan or older, obviously. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is find your USB drive here, go up to the Erase tab, uh, make sure Mac OS Extended Journal is selected, uh, you can name this anything you want, so just name it Mac OS, select Erase, and Erase. And of course, if you're using the new version of this utility, uh, it's slightly different, but uh, since this is Mavericks, it still has uh, the original style disk utility. Alright, so once you've formatted your USB drive, you're going to want to go ahead and open up the Mac OS Sierra Patcher. Um, then what you're going to want to do is select the drive that you just formatted. So for example, mine I named Mac OS, so we'll go ahead and select that. Then you're going to want to browse for your install 10.12 developer preview app. And as I said before, it does have to be the app uh, for this method to work. So go ahead and select it, select open. Um, it will verify it, and if it's not the correct app, it'll tell you that here. But in this case, it is, of course, the correct one, and it has successfully verified it. You can select OK on that, and then just click Start Operation. Select Yes, it'll just warn you that all contents on that disk will be erased if it had something on it previously. So just select Yes, and it will begin the process. So be sure you type your password in here. And... After that, it will begin uh, the creation process. So uh, this will take um, probably about 15 to 20 minutes. It might take longer with some drives, but um, yeah, it will take quite some time. And if it does get, if it does hang on the patching files uh, process for quite some time, that is completely normal. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind and don't worry. It, if it does freeze on patching files for a while. Uh, it is still indeed working. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and resume it once uh, the tool has completed creating the USB drive. Alright, so once the tool has completed, you can go ahead and insert the USB drive into your unsupported Mac. Uh, as you can see, I have mine inserted there. It's a hard disk, as you can see. Um, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and boot off that drive. Go ahead and power up the machine, hold down option, and we're going to go ahead and boot from it. Alright, so you can see the USB drive right here, so let's just go ahead and select it. Okay. 
and as you can see it has begun to boot up now so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pause the video here um, and then resume it once uh, the installer finishes booting uh, so I'll be right back alright so once the installer boots you should be at the main installer screen um, now what you're gonna wanna do is go up to the utilities menu and open up disk utility So once that loads here alright so in disk utility what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna find the drive that you intend to install OS 10 on or Mac OS Sierra on um, you're gonna wanna go ahead and erase it ensure that GUID partition map is selected and ensure that OS extended journal is selected uh, you can name this whatever you want and then just click erase and uh, that should do it now I'm not gonna do it now because I already uh, have this partition like I want it and I already have an install on it and I don't really feel like waiting forever for it to install a second time so I'm just gonna go ahead and close that now and um, once you've partitioned your drive with disk utility I can go ahead and click continue on this and proceed uh, with the installation as normal so um yeah we're gonna go ahead and install it on the drive I named OS um, at this point you're just gonna wanna click continue and uh, the installation should proceed as any other Mac OS uh, installation normally would so um, yeah once that uh, well I'm not actually gonna do it but um, at this point uh, what you're gonna wanna do is just install it and then once it finishes installing uh, you're gonna wanna reboot back into the installer so um, once it finishes just follow the rest of the video um, after I pause it so I'll be right back alright so once the installation finishes and you reboot back into the USB drive you just created uh, you're gonna wanna go up to utilities and select Mac OS post install let's go ahead and select that and um, once it loads uh, you will see the application window here now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take note of what it says your detected Mac model is um, in this case like I mentioned earlier this is a MacBook 5 comma 2 uh, and then you're just going to want to select that uh, from the list right here. So I'm going to go ahead and select MacBook 5 comma 2 here. You can see that it automatically selects the necessary options uh, to enable booting of Sierra on this Mac. Um, if you want to uh, select other options for uh, other hardware, you can go ahead and select uh, the necessary options here. Um, but uh, yeah, that's basically how the patch tool works. Um, and then the next thing you're going to want to do is select the volume you just installed Mac OS on so in this case it is the drive named OS I'm gonna go ahead and select that there and at this point you can just select patch it'll patch for a couple seconds and once it's done you can just go ahead and select reboot and um, once it reboots it should boot into a fully working copy of Mac OS Sierra so I'll go ahead and let it reboot here by itself. And as you can see, it is now booting off the internal drive. Uh, so once, once it finishes booting and I get the uh, OS set up, uh, I'll go ahead and resume this video. Alright, so as you can see, Mac OS Sierra has just finished uh, booting on this machine. Now, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Wi-Fi on some systems doesn't work. However, on this system, it appears as though it actually is working, so that's a good sign. Um, I believe it's just uh, one specific model of the Broadcom Wi-Fi chipset that some Macs use. Um, for some reason, the text from El Capitan was removed and... Uh, now those cards are no longer supported, so um, I'm still working on a fix for those cards. However, at this point, uh, those cards will not work in Sierra. So um, let's just go ahead to about this Mac, and I'll show you the specs of this machine. Uh, so as you can see here, it is a MacBook 13-inch mid-2009. It is just the standard 2.13 GHz model uh, with the NVIDIA GeForce 9400M graphics chipset. So... That is how to install Mac OS Sierra on any unsupported Mac uh, that's at least early 2008 or newer. So, um, yeah, uh, that is how to do it. So, hope you enjoyed this video.